It's Tuesday, April 26th, and this is Talk Commerce. Welcome to this special Magento Association episode where Brent and Kalarov talk about all things Magento and how the community has been embracing the changes that are happening with Adobe, Magento Open Source, and the Magento Association. Kalarov is a certified Scrum Master, Adobe Certified Expert Business Practitioner, and an Adobe Certified Professional Developer with more than a decade of experience in the e-commerce world. He is a delivery manager with BrainFire, working with clients all over the world. He loves to explore and discuss the technical architecture of platforms and the growth of commerce around the world. And now, your free joke. At a certain point in my life, sitting at home alone, watching TV on a Friday night goes from being super depressing, being the most enjoyable part of my week. The Talk Commerce podcast is sponsored by Swift Daughter. E-commerce developers solve problems daily. In fact, some of those seem like mountainous hurdles that must be climbed in a matter of hours. Stress levels can go through the roof. No wonder the plague of burnout affects developers too. Ah, but there's a vaccine for that. Investing time in your career will take you farther than you ever imagined. Meet Swift Daughter. Swift Otter exists to help you become the e-commerce hero that is indispensable and irreplaceable at your company. We do this through Magento Certification Study Materials and Joseph Maxwell's most recent book, The Art of E-Commerce Debugging. Go to swiftotter.com to learn more about how you can quickly climb the ranks in your quest to be a better developer. While you're there, use the coupon code TALKCOMMERCE for 15% off any digital goods at SwiftDotter.com. My name is Brent Peterson, and I'm your host. Please remember to subscribe wherever you download your podcasts. And now, Talk Commerce. All right, welcome to this episode. Today I have Kalarov Vasavada. I'm, I'm sure I butchered your name. I'm very sorry. Kalarov is a delivery manager for BrainVire. Um, let's talk about the Magento Association a little bit. So um, I know that Magento Association is going to come out with a paid model soon. W- what is your opinion on that? So definitely, see, it's a really good idea that, uh, I mean, when, when you are paying something, there is op- always an opportunity that you are going to get something definitely uh, very good. I mean, uh, by default, Magento as an open source uh, uh, providing you very uh, big uh, project or I would say very big platform to start your business. So similarly in Magento Association right now, the, there is no membership fee. It is absolutely free for everyone. But yes, if they are going to introduce some fees on the same, uh, then definitely it will have its own advantages. Let's say you are buying some extensions and there are, there are some subscription model which are, which are which have started now coming out. So within that, you are getting the benefits of, you know, whenever there is a new upgrade, you are getting the new upgraded version of that extension and everything. So definitely, I mean, in my opinion, as an entrepreneur or as a, you know, uh, as a person, when you are paying something, there is always a chance that you are going to get something good out of it because when you have paid, so whoever has taken your money is responsible. He's, he's having a, a, one commitment that they have to uh, give something. Otherwise, nobody will going to pay and continue that part in the future itself. Um, so um, what what do you say um, now to um, all there? I mean, there's more probably more developers in India than anywhere else in the world for Magento. How are we going to get more of these people to join the Magento Association? Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, Magento Association is doing a really great job. I mean, they are doing a lot of newsletters and everything. Uh, they are doing many good events. They are being a part of uh, all the Meet Magento events basically and promote it very well so that, uh, you know, uh, the reach uh, goes to the end uh, developer. And you you told one thing very right, like there are many developers. I mean, I would precisely saying uh, because I have visited US a couple of times, I have been to uh, Middle East. So I have seen the number of counts uh, for Magento development, which is in India and precisely to the city which I am living in 
the city of uh, uh, Mr. Mahatma Gandhi, Sabarmati or I would say Ahmedabad. I mean the number of magenta developers are in much more quantity over here in Ahmedabad specifically. But yeah, to I mean many of them are not even aware like what is magenta association because uh, I mean the people who are pre uh, precisely to be in uh, experience less than three four years uh, uh, three four years of span. Their focus is only just to do the development and uh, you know focus on the development part. So they are not being involved or not uh, you know participating in uh, such events. And on top of that, this uh, COVID has uh, you know crushed all the uh, meetups and you know uh, gatherings basically. Because if the gatherings were happening, let's say you and me, uh, I mean I, I I precisely remember that we have met into 2019 when uh, Meet Magento India was organized and happened over here in in person. So that. That warmth was uh, definitely at a different level. I met all the people. I met many new people whom I never knew about the Magento community in, in there. I'm in touch with them since last three years. And I, I, I literally learned and knew a lot many things. So people who are, I would as I'm mentioning, uh, in the experience less than three, four years of age, age, they have not met many more people because since last, day, uh, last two years, they are mainly focusing and working from home kind of environment. Okay. So due to this, like they are not much familiar what are the associations, what associations basically do, what are the benefits of it. I mean, people, some people I have seen because I know I am handling a team of uh, 125 people who are expert into Magento right now. So I know like out of uh, 125, hardly 40% of people are there who are, you know, uh, following all such things. They are reading the newsletters and everything. They are uh, following the new news and uh, what are the new things coming out in Magento. So basically these uh, uh, meetup kind of things or even Magento associations are really good source to know more things, uh, learn more things. There are, they are doing many events like I have been part of as a speaker into Magento association. So I know there were many good speakers. Okay. I literally, uh, I, after giving my session on to the same, it was really night in India, but I stayed awake till 2 a.m. Just to understand what are all the uh, speakers and what are their thoughts about new things coming into the future in Magento. So this patients uh, generate in me after meeting those people in person. Because if I just uh, see some email which uh, dropped into my uh, mailbox and it is some newsletter, either I may read it or delete it. I mean, there is no surety that I will really go into that detail and uh, read about it. it. It always about your patient. But yes, if I meet someone, if I know like, okay, Brent Peterson is a person who is speaking about Magento, I should listen to him. I should see him. Then that uh, guts generated in uh, one person itself. And that way, like the uh, association definitely grows. And yeah, being an active member of association, I am trying and inspiring people. Come join, come forward. Let's write something for association. Let's speak something for association. It is our uh, family, basically a virtual family. Nice. That's great. Um, and so what... I mean, what do you think the Magento Association could do better going into the future? I, I, I don't know if you've seen all the communications that have started coming from the Magento Association, but we all we're all meeting in committees and we're all doing work. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so just to tell you, I'm excited for all those things. So I have applied as a part of that committee already uh, into the churning process. So I have I have submitted my form and everything, but I got a mail from the person that uh, for these years the the submissions and uh, you know everything has been opted out and i haven't got the chance for the same but yeah i mean i just wanted to be the active member so i have even uh, replied him that i am uh, happy to be a volunteer as well on the same and they have started magento uh, co-op basically uh, so in which like they are uh, uh, you know uh, distributing the uh, regular basis uh, articles and everything so i am going to write one of the article for magento association very soon like I have applied for the same and they have responded on to that part. So right now I'm in process to identify a very good topic on to the same and which which I really feel like, okay, it will going to make a value. So like people will read about it. People, I mean, what I have gained into my 10 years career journey within the Magento history itself, I wanted to represent it among uh, all the people into the world and just wanted to highlight like, okay, what are the beauties lies within and how I have grown because if I alone talk about Kalro, I, I literally cannot grow. It is all Magento open source community, Magento associations who has given me a step. And my first as a, you know, I have been associated as a speaker into many of the universities locally over here in India. But 
as a global speaker the first opportunity i got into magento association so i would say definitely it is the stage from where i have uh, you know get the boost into my career to uh, share my thoughts and everything so i'm 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 definitely obliged and i'm really happy uh, to share with everybody that you should be a part of this association this community and you will definitely going to get something you are never never going to lose any single thing from the same I I know that earlier you said that you're managing some uh, Magento developers. What is it that a Magento developer wants to get out of the Magento Association? Are there some sp specific things that you hear from your developers that they would like to get from the Magento Association? Uh yes, definitely. I mean, see, uh, when I talk with all these people, so their uh, expectations from Magento Association is something like, I mean, they are having articles, speeches, and everything. But yes, I mean, if there are some more active participation events where developer can you know uh, do take part into the workshops where how to uh, you know uh, create a module which can be placed into the marketplace in, in in terms of open source and everything so that kind of workshops will basically help them to uh, do the code on a better quality and better level because i can say there are millions of people who are really doing a code but out of that there are 10000s only who are really doing a quality code and every customer any customer in the world will definitely expect that my code should be a quality code quality code has a lot of advantages it will run seamlessly smooth integration will be very uh, easy with you know multiple systems and everything if you are just doing a code your customer will get dissatisfied he will be you know uh, running from here and there one company to other company one agency to, to other agency so at the end you are not making anybody happy just for your sake you are just doing a development but there is no quality development being happened so if the association can plan such uh, you know uh, uh, programs or i would say even a paid programs or even workshops where they can guide and they can teach a uh, ideal way to do this or there there are some series they can put up uh, through which you know a right way how to debug how to make it on a faster basis with the efficient way so these things will definitely you know improvise the overall quality standards of the magento in terms of people what uh, are doing because there are i could say i mean i mean in contact with many of the people who are just doing freelancing they are doing the project for themselves i mean they are doing the project for the client and customers but if it does not have a quality i mean nobody is there to identify the quality actually they feel like whatever i have done it is the best they are delivering because he is a indiv individual freelancer but when there is a agency there are whole hierarchy associated with that a tech lead tech architect project architect identify review the code and then deliver so the quality whatever you get uh, as a customer uh, from this it should be seamless for all the uh, uh, people into the world so something similar we can think about and can plan about the same that's great and um from a, so you mentioned events workshops um uh and some tutoring or some i guess some training something like that for developers as well would be helpful absolutely yes uh one thing is i suggest i am suggesting a training and another thing uh which in my opinion uh, suggest is a uh, uh, use cases which uh, you know people can i mean there are sessions which are happening like uh, people are delivering about new things and everything but as a person as a delivery manager if i talk about so let's say i have done more than 300 projects into magento in my career journey so far okay so definitely not all 300 project went successful for sure that i that i am uh, you know uh, candidly accepting right now might be uh, you know a couple of projects have got failure so what was the reason of failure whether it was my decision to choose the technology was a failure whether it was a client's decision if it was not failure if it was success yes then success stories should be discussed failure stories should be discussed what are the challenges being faced because when i started myself in terms of um, uh, adobe commerce cloud so initially i mean i initially it was very few resources which were available how to do the cloud deployment and everything so i i pretty remember that initially 3 months i definitely uh, uh, followed the whole wrong process for the deployment and everything and then i i was thinking like okay there is something wrong with the cloud but it was not wrong with the cloud it was wrong with my process because i did not had any good resources to who who was teaching me that okay kalra this is the right approach i discussed with my couple of uh, fellow and um, uh, team members 
then they identify they come with a solution like color this is the right approach now let's go how to sell, set up the new relic and everything and then in the meet magento ahmedabad i took first session in uh, india itself which was definitely organized by magento again over there at that time so i gave the first session i remember how to set up cloud and what are the challenges being faced so for one hour i have just delivered my experience in the career journey what i have learned for magento cloud setup because i wanted to educate people what i was doing wrong let not everybody do follow the same yeah that's great so um uh, it sounds like there could be some education that comes from events but also specific say webinars on topics that are that have a lot of interest especially from the developers and what else i hear is that if developers don't join the magento association they can't they won't have their voice heard in what they would like to get out of it right so even if they do, i i know there'll be a um, i know that well right now if you, if you if for a paid version for the paid you will get access to vote for board members right um, if you don't pay you wouldn't have that access but you would still have some sort of a voice in asking for things you'd still have access to some of the paid things are there and access to the partners so i guess how how can we encourage all the developers in india to join the magento association at least just register for free um how can we do that what's there, what's the best from a marketing standpoint what can we do okay uh, a very good thing i can suggest because I, I love to do the marketing i have given the speech into singapore meet magento that what are the marketing gimmicks and techniques so you know i mean those who uh, join the magento session just send them send them a magento sticker uh, delivered it to their address or maybe you know i mean uh, if they are certified or something they upload it we can send them some goodies so you know everybody will be you know excited i have seen that people in meet magento are just doing certifications they were going to the counter of all the sponsors hey i am certified okay give me the t-shirt i am certified give me the pen you know so people uh, definitely i mean I am at this stage also. If I am getting some gift, I am excited. Like yes, wow, that's my gift. And definitely, see Magento sticker. I ha I had literally collected three four stickers and I have sticked behind my laptop. So whenever I was going and opening it, uh, people were saying, "Yeah, you are working in Magento." So when I went to USA, when seeing that Magento sign, uh, so people, wow, you are working in Magento. I said yes. So that that gives me you know a, a different amount of uh, passionate and. passion and uh, you know encouragement like wow i mean people are recognizing me so i mean such kind of things we can put up like okay you come register we will be delivering you something you know some free goodies uh, free buys uh, which which can be around stickers or if he is certified we can go with pens or st uh, t-shirts or something i mean whatever is a uh, best fit into the budget and for the paid version what i uh, would recommend is you give them first session for free free Uh, let's say first or second two sessions for free when they will see the value within it they will be definitely happy to pay it see why right now if you see people are very easy uh, to pay for uh, adobe certification exams right so why they are paying because they see the value of it when you do the certification it will be definitely going to help so similarly you when you are going and joining any uh, institute or college or let's say your uh, uh, classes for tutorials you are paying them right because you wanted to learn something and uh, whatever you learn you are paying the fees so similarly we can uh, make this platform uh, a social gathering as well and uh, you know a little bit uh, i mean we are not going to charge thousands or hundreds of dollars it will be definitely minimal but and in that also we can uh, keep a plan like okay you can see all past recordings you can see a couple of recordings within this plan or something and that way it can be benefited Yeah, that's good. I like that, and and it won't be thousands of dollars. I can guarantee that. I've seen the pricing; it's going to be affordable. <laughs> um, I mean, I, that's what I'm saying. I mean, definitely, it is for all. So definitely, we are not going to make it as a profitable entity. But definitely, people, uh, let's say there are many speakers who are coming and spending their important time. So if we wanted to give them some rewards, let I'm not saying that we pay them, but some rewards or some things, then. if our association is having some budget then they can definitely plan there are some uh, some uh, other speakers who are really having a good talents and knowledge but they are not coming so we can ask and invite them people like me who are really eager and excited are coming and i, I always uh, wanted to be a volunteer and uh, wanted to share my knowledge i do not need any expectations in terms of rewards but there are some uh, uh, you know speakers or experts 
whom we can invite and come bring onto the stage if we, uh, if they are you know asking for some charges if we have fund if we have some budget we can have them on the platform and we can take their uh, knowledge uh, idea and sharing from the same yeah and i i, I think you're right I, I think what i heard there is that there are many experts that are maybe they're not directly related with adobe or magento but they can offer a lot of value to our community and the magento association can help to bring those people in and and then help to communicate with the rest of the magento community uh, but I'll, I'll just go back to the fact that uh, right now you can join for you. You can always join completely free. And uh, I right now I can tell you the last numbers that I saw were a small fraction of the amount of people that are out there uh, doing Magento. Um, it's less than the people that I have linked in with on, for just with a Magento skill. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there's definitely a lot of uh, places that we can grow as a community on Magento. Uh, really quick. So, what what were your highlights out of Meet Magento India this year? Yeah, Meet Magento India. It was really a successful event. I have you know witnessed a hybrid event. I would say, I mean, not hybrid. It was yes, definitely a full virtual event. I can say so. But uh, we wish that next year it can be a you know full in person event again, or at least hybrid. Like uh, you know, some people uh, can join remotely as well because now that is going to be definitely new normal. Uh, people who are residing outside the India and who are not willing to really travel on that specific, I'm not saying in India specifically, but let's say after three days, there is a meet Magento Mexico as well, right? So I, I cannot uh, may be able to travel to Mexico all the times or uh, visit in uh, person. So hybrid version will definitely going to be a more, uh, you know, popular in terms of my experience. From this event, I would say uh, I had attended, I have applied as a speaker also in this Meet Magento India. But unfortunately, I think I was late or maybe other speakers have already been shortlisted. So I did not get a chance to be a speaker. But yes, I have witnessed and I have, uh, you know, attended uh, many of the sessions from the same. Like it was about, uh, you know, make architecture, uh, MSCH1, then about the, you know, growth of Magento in terms of uh, other integrations and everything. So there were very many popular sessions, even the discussions among all the experts in the panel that I have uh, attended and heard, like what will be the future? What are the new things coming into this industry and how uh, it will be going to be benefited uh, with respect to, you know, Magento community. So if I am uh, uh, the reason for me, why I attended and I inspired many of the people in my, uh, you know, office itself, like, okay, hey guys, please join because this will be the uh, this this is the platform it is for India because we all are uh, you know residing in India so the flavor was definitely an Indian uh, Indian flavor taste I can say so many of the speakers and the you know associates were from the India itself so for them it was very easy and it was very on event I can say so because it, it was for India and it was for uh, it was by an uh, you know Indian organization as well I can say so in that like they have uh, learned and uh, you know uh, connected with many of this uh, many of the people and there were many agencies like uh, I, I personally know Mr. Gaurav Jain from the Magecomp who had done a uh, great I mean his company even uh, other companies every uh, Mr. Vijay Golani and they have done uh, good uh, you know support and everything so particularly I mean that was a nice place I can say it was a kind of a regathering of all of us uh, on a virtual platform we, we waved hi everybody we learn many new things so yes it was a very a good event and a win-win for basically developers customers vendors si agencies and everyone into the e-commerce world and e-commerce territory uh, who are you know touched by one or other means yeah it was um uh, we had more than a thousand people join uh which is uh, which was fantastic I think our our biggest in-person event was in Ahmedabad in the one in 2019 that you saw that you visited and we had I think we maxed out the capacity at that hotel. Yeah, uh, yeah, of course I know. I mean and and literally at that time the the sessions were going into one hall to another hall and I was visiting that whether I should go over here or whether I should go there. So in in virtual the beauty was like okay I just need to switch the screen and if there are two sessions going parallelly I can opt like which one I have to choose and if I wanted to see recording of another then I can get to see that as well which was the little disadvantage I can say so into in-person event but yeah I mean everything is has its own advantages and disadvantages.
Yeah, and I think, I I think that this new hybrid model is going to give us the ability to um, to go back and see those some of those talks. If you do, do see them in person, uh, we'll know that those talks are available online somewhere as well. It, it, typically, we do publish all the talks, but this now the hybrid model makes it even more important to make sure all those talks are available. Correct, correct, and and that will be definitely going to give you know. A great learning maybe because of some reasons which are unavoidable if people uh, could not able to attend that event then they have a beauty that they can you know later on uh, able to access and uh, uh, re, uh, I mean watch that because I have witnessed this in Magento Association like uh, I mean uh, Vatsal uh, Sa who has given a very good session Piyush Latya and I mean the other sessions which have, uh, have, uh, have been given so now I go into Magento Association website or even on their YouTube channel and I just reread on and understand how what is about headless what is about PWA so you know all those learnings are really beneficial for everyone I mean uh, into the community yeah that's good uh, so we have a few minutes left still uh, if you were to give some advice to a new merchant in India what would you tell them right now uh, definitely so I mean in in terms of advice being a consultant and being a very experienced person the list is going to be always long for me uh, but yes uh, I would say if you wanted to really start an e-commerce business see uh, and identify which uh, area or segment you are targeting let's say if you are uh, you know doing a business into metros or you are targeting a product which are useful for the people within the metro then you should set up your targeting mass accordingly you have to set up and identify your platform accordingly you have to set up and identify the agencies uh, accordingly if you are not familiar which uh, platform version how you should go with you should connect with the right SI right agencies and you know search for that uh, go with that discuss with them identify make up the plan and uh, set your timeline and target and everything accordingly give them a realistic timeline rather than just you know go on a hypothetical expectation like okay I need this e-commerce to be set up into one month or two month identify what are your needs uh, everything has its uh, time to market you cannot just open shop today and become a millionaire on next day so you have to definitely uh, give time after doing that investment your investment is your money and the second investment is your time as well because you have to give your time it's a whole digital world so the digital marketing is going to be the key aspect it is not like you open the website today and from next day or even next month it is starting it is it started going to be a next amazon or it start going to be a next walmart which start doing a you know multi-billion or a billion dollar business you have to identify your products customers you have to do a right approach of in terms of marketing your uh, uh, return process your fulfillment your shipping your delivery everything your customer services product quality if it is a marketplace your vendors and their support everything has to be in a very good aspect then only it will have a customer and once customer is coming it is the amount you are investing for uh, you know gaining one customer it has to be a repetitive recurring customer he has to place uh, further orders into the systems then only it will be a successful uh, e-commerce system in my opinion that's great and I, I one last question I know that um a lot of clients, maybe this is an education question for clients, a lot of clients assume that an entire project could be done by one person, so a developer, right? They don't often understand that there's all kinds of roles involved in a Magento project or any, any e-commerce project. Maybe you could help, help educate clients on like your role as a delivery manager and then what, like, what is your role as a delivery manager and then how does that fit in with all the different people on a team, right? Because I think what in a Magento, the most successful Magento projects are the ones that are done with a team, and helping clients understand that is always a challenge. Very good question, and I'm really uh, you know happy to answer this. So uh, in beginning, you ask about my passions and my hobbies specifically. So I like to see movies a lot. I like to see series a lot. I write sometimes as well like kind of a novels or small articles and everything i don't publish it uh, yet but yes i write it for my passion and yes i'm a very big cricket fan so to answer your question in terms of uh, sports terminology so one person I, I give this example to all my team members and my many of the customers one player cannot make a team win 
it's it's all always about teamwork if uh, in terms of cricket i mean it's a very popular game in india so for indian customers or any other customers even you talk about rugby or, uh, you talk about football so all these games are of teamwork one player cannot make you win the game so if if somebody is thinking i i will hire one developer and i will get this project done it will be his specific mindset his developer's mindset whatever he is doing he will always think it's a right when it's a team there are collaborative efforts a designer is there front end developer is there business analysis is there project manager is there delivery manager is there so everybody are putting their different thoughts they are identifying doing the you know uh, uh, multiple discussions and identifying what are the best approach to achieve this and everybody when putting their thoughts their best out of it you are getting the best product on the same and that is why uh, you know uh, a big companies or i would say a company will really make a successful project ra- rather than just a freelancer because freelancer uh, or i would say a person who is directly associated with the customers might have a very narrow minded thinking because they they are, they are only focusing just on to the development they might miss uh, in terms of quality if i am a developer for example i might not have a thought of a front end developer aspect like what should be the ideal design what should be the best ui what should be the customer friendly and intuitive ui so this i mean one person cannot be everything a jack of all uh, being a jack of all is is like a, a nightmare i mean there are people who are very excellent and talented but there are i mean in in 10000 it might be one or two so the fractions or uh, a percentage is very less so if uh, somebody wanted to be a success uh, somebody wanted to make a successful website or success, successful e-commerce store mobile application so any system into the world i will not say it's just for e-commerce it has to be a collaborative team efforts not just a one person effort because what i am thinking what i am feeling might re- might be right into one aspect but wrong into some other aspect so if multiple minds joins over there they will always think like okay now this is th- somebody is there to argue with me somebody is there to debate with me and if i am uh, going on right, uh, wrong direction somebody is stopping me if i am going on to right direction somebody is pushing me like hey it's it's a good you you should go on th- into that aspect and that way you always win to the game and that's where i say a team work always win a single person may win or may not win it depends on to the situation luck and you know uh, the <clears throat> other circumstances yeah and I, i love that i love that analogy of the cricket game i and you have a new big cricket stadium in amdabad that opened the year that i was there and i i didn't get a chance to go yet but i do want to come and visit and watch a cricket game in that stadium so just as we close out just explain then your job role so the clients have an idea of what you do as a delivery manager yeah so uh, basically i can say that uh, i am delivery manager uh, by just a designation but my personal patience lies within as an architect as a managing projects i am a scrum certified so i like and love to be as a part of a sprint sometime i be a scrum master but yes uh, to focus on terms of delivery manager i look forward to the client's projects and make sure that it is being delivered within the time uh, remain within the cost itself i mean it does not go beyond the cost and uh, the quality of the projects are being made and uh, customers are happy they are also you know uh, getting good ideas and good consulting suggestions from my team from our side and uh, i mean the approach of ours is like a customer as i mentioned i mean that is everywhere L- like whether if i am building my website as an e-commerce and i am achieving a customer or if i am uh, gaining a customer for building any uh, any new platform so customer once it is win you should focus never to lose them understand their pain point understand their situation why they are with you what are their uh, uh, pain points and how you can resolve it out so i am just focusing on that and you know how i can make them um, uh, best benefits within the uh, less budget or i would say a minimal budget rather than just giving a wrong advices and just experimenting on it i would rather feel like okay yes definitely there are many new things coming into market pwa headless or even i will talk about ai ml uh, even blockchain so if if any such things you would like to propose to your customer you should be either expert with that or uh, like you know you have expertise in terms of uh, development of it and then you go and give the right suggestions and right guidance everyone wanted to be ahead of time everyone wanted to do a cutting edge technology development but yes 
the consulting should be on to right manner you have to understand your customers mindset their uh, situations in terms of sale products customers and everything and then give the right idea and right guidance when they will understand your uh, aspects of uh, suggestions they will never going to lose leave you that's great yeah that's 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 good perfect yeah i think it's it's very often that the client doesn't understand all the different pieces uh, of a puzzle to make it work and i i, I love how you said that uh, no one person can do everything. And if a person specializes in something, then they'll do that job so much better than trying to do the whole job. So thank you for that. That's perfect. Um, so as we close out today, I give everybody a chance to do a shameless plug about anything they'd like to promote. What is it that you'd like to promote today? Uh, thank you very much. I mean, it was really a great uh, session with you, uh, uh, Mr. Brent. I, I really like it. So in order to promote, uh, I would re definitely promote Adobe and Magento because I mean, that's all what I am working and what BrainWire is working all about. And uh, so as in e-commerce, if you are thinking for, uh, you know, uh, starting your business, think of Adobe, think of uh, it, it can be Adobe open source, it can be Adobe uh, cloud or anything. But yes, as an SI, as an agencies, uh, you can trust BrainWire and be a part of it uh, for, you know, any e-commerce development, we are having a team of 125 e-commerce experts uh, out of which around 75 certified developers. So we have that beauty, we have that strength and I have, uh, I can proudly say that we, ha I, I am leading that team. I am, I am a sailor of that ship basically and I will not let your sink, uh, ship sink uh, at any, uh, any cost and we will definitely see and reach to the whatever horizons you wanted to reach into the world. That will be the best uh, approach of mine. That's great. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to get your name, Kalarov. Kalarov yeah. Vasavada. 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 Good. Yes. Good. Yes. Yes. Great. It was great to uh, have this conversation today. I hope you have a safe evening and uh, thank you so much. Have a good day to you also, Mr. Brent. And it was really a pleasure talking to you. See you soon, very uh, in sometime either in US or maybe in India. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you again for listening. My name is Brent Peterson, and it has been my pleasure to be your host today. Please rate and subscribe to Talk Commerce, new shows out every week.